Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a kick-ass 3D azimuthal equidistant map. The cool thing about this is we're making it from a Mercator projection. This should tell you something about the azimuthal equidistant map that has been presented as the flat earth map. Let's make a start. First of all, we've got to unload the Mercator map of the earth with the right colours and no labels etc. I found the site planetpixelemporium.com You've got to pay for the high res ones but just for this demo I'm going to use the 1k version. I've downloaded colour one and this one is a white as high map so you can use it to give texture so you can sort of see the mountains and plains etc. Now these can be quite hard to find but they're very useful when doing 3D modelling. Okay, so put the colour one into Photoshop, image size, make it 1000 by 1000. Okay, so go distort polar coordinates, rectangular to polar, and my god! Look what's happened, that's your azimuthal equidistant map. Select all and then go to the 3D new mesh from layer postcard. So that's one way of doing it, but it's not the best way of doing it. If we start with the bump map one, the white is high. Follow the same process. Then we go to 3D, new mesh from layer, depth map to plane. So this is going to turn it into a proper 3D object. But as you can see, it's, well, not quite what we want. So go back into the 3D menu and click on the depth map which is what we've just made you've got to be on the move tool so now you can hover that over there and rotate around the Z axis so we've got to scale along the Z axis if you don't have any 3D software any real 3D software because um, I gotta say Photoshop doesn't do this too well but if you must continue with Photoshop you need to add some colour, so what you do, under depth map here, click on layer 0 and under specular, go load texture and now we've got to load the azimuthal equidistant colour one we saved before and look at that, now uh, it's in colour but if we want to do anything really cool with it, we've got to load it into some proper 3D software so click on the depth map, go to the 3D menu, export 3D layer, collard is good, save it to where you want to save it. I've actually paid for the super high res versions because it's good to have that resolution. Okay now all it needs is a dome and a sun and moon under the dome, the firmament if you will. Here's one I prepared earlier. Nice, but still, I gotta say, this isn't a good starting place for a flat earth model. Really, I mean, straight from the Mercator projection. Yeah, it's pretty fishy that it's used by United Nations and, you know, it's a bit of a coincidence, but still not good enough reason for us to use it as a starting point. 